to another edition of Tech Tips from CMMXYZ.com. Today I'm going to discuss how to use loops inside your PC Demos program. The example program I have in front of you right now is showing you a measurement routine that is not using loops. On the top surface you can see eight small diameter holes and on the side of the part you can see another eight small diameter holes. And in our edit window you can see top surface has a total of eight diameters with eight outputs for dimension and on the side it has another eight features measured followed by another eight location outputs for dimension. Now this makes a bit of a longer program for every single circle that you need to measure and report out. Loops give you the advantage of creating just one feature and perform the loop to create the rest of the diameters it makes a much smaller and neater program to work with. So let's close this one down and I'll show you the process on how to do it with loops. I have tidied up the program, removing all but one diameter on the top surface and one diameter on the side surface. And we're gonna use just those diameters to create the loops for the rest of the features. So go over to your edit window and place your cursor before the first circle. We're gonna to go to insert, flow control command, looping. The loop parameters is asking for the pattern or the relationship between the features that I'm trying to loop. In the example we have in front of us, the origin is right in the center of the pattern of these holes. Circle one's relationship to the next diameter beside it is a 45 degree about the center. If I set my angle to 45 degrees, that's telling the loop I will increment 45 degrees each pass of the loop. How many diameters are we looking at? It's a total of eight small diameters. So we start at one and end at eight, and that will give us a total loop of eight that increments 45 degrees each pass. So I'll hit okay, and my loop start command is in there. All I need in the loop is my circle and my location output and any moves that you may have inserted in the program. So highlight on the last item that's going to be in your loop. Go to insert, flow control, and end the loop. So everything inside the loop start and loop end is going to loop eight times, incrementing 45 degrees each pass. We won't see the results until we execute the program. So now let's work on the other diameter and do a loop for him. So place your cursor on the code before circle two. We're going to insert flow control looping and in this example it's not angles we're working with it's offsets the center of these holes are off by 14 millimeters in Y and 14 in Z in this example we need two loops we need one to worry about the rows and one to worry about the columns the first one I'll focus on is my Z since my circle is on the top my diameter below that needs to be looped is in the minus Z direction. So I type in minus 14 and it's only a total of two holes in Z that I need to worry about. So I'll start the loop there. Hit OK. Next I will insert another loop right after that. Hurry to looping. And in this case I have to worry about the side to side. There's a total of four holes on the side so we can do that. And it increases in the Y positive direction type in 14 there. Hit OK. Since I've created two loop starts, I have to create two loop ends. Click on the last feature, insert flow control end loop, and then a second time to end the other loop. And you've created the loops inside your program. Let's execute them to see how it runs through the PCDMAS program. So I'll place my cursor before my loop start, right click, and I'm going to execute from the cursor so we can watch it run. That looks pretty darn good to me. And if you look at the code, much less information in our program to get more data output. Loops are an excellent way to tidy up a program and if at any time you need to modify the number of hits 
or anything inside the feature, you only need to make the change on the one feature and the entire loop will update for everything else. We take a look at the report. Everything is now inserted into our report with only creating one circle for the top surface and one circle for the bottom surface. My name is Stuart Burke. Thank you for watching.